we're calling our method, we're getting back a subscription, where's our data? How do we work with that emitted value? Where is our array of products? That's where that third term comes in. An observer watches for emissions and notifications. What notifications? Next, air complete. Okay, so our observer is going to watch for those three notifications. Now you can define an explicit observer, though this is uncommon. I just like to kind of show this because it makes it more clear what an observer is, though we don't normally write code like this. But an observer is an object with three methods. A next method defined with an arrow function. It receives that emission, which in this case is an apple, and it performs an operation, which is logging. The error receives the actual error. Again, the action is logging. The complete doesn't give you any uh, payload, uh, but it does allow for an action. Um, you need to then pass that observer in to the subscribe um, in order for it to actually react to those. But as I said, this is uncommon. What do we do instead? We do our observer with an arrow function. So here's our subscribe and directly in our subscribe is where we have um, our next function. So we receive our next item, which is an apple, and we log it. Um, a couple of years ago, RxJS was changed such that subscribe will only take one argument. So it can either be that next uh, function or it can be an object with our, our observer. So our next error and complete. Now you don't have to have all three of them. Most Angular applications, will, you'll only see next and error frequently. You won't see the complete because there's nothing special that needs to be done on complete for that uh, particular case. Okay, so looking at our set of code then, our source dollar is an observable. We have a dollar on the end of that to identify that as an observable um, so that we can tell that it's not an array or some other kind of data structure. The subscription is what we get when we call subscribe. And then we can use it to unsubscribe and then we're passing in our observer with our next error and complete. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.